Hello everybody and welcome back to Pokemon Black Let's Play. Alright, uh, in the last one, uh, I showed off my pet rock. Uh, we walked through route... Let me count my, <laughs> my fingers. Route 8, that's it, Route 8. Uh, yeah, you know, we went through Route 8. We visited the Moor of Irises. And then we battled Bianca. And then she was like, I'm, I'm, you have a lot of weight on your shoulders. That must suck. Anyway, bye! <laughs> So, now we're about to- I believe they said this area was called Tubeline Bridge? It's been a while since I've been over here. <laughs> What's the name? Oh yeah! Tubeline Bridge! A long ass bridge. What do you got to say, lady? Hey you! It's just my opinion, but it's best to avoid the- this area on weekend evenings. The brats who live around here often get to something stupid. Alright, that means we had to come here at some point on a weekend evening. This girl is fucking running! Wait, I wanna- I wanna talk to her. What are you running? When I was running around to outrun the trains? I got overheated. Phew. Anyway, please take this! We got flame charge! We can give that to someone. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Oh. DCM contains flame charge. If the move lands, the user's speed goes up. You blow. What? You blow by everyone? Is I don't think that I read that right. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? I see green hair. Oh, it's not in. <laughs> and I just got jumped by three mysterious men. Come. Oh. Bro, you brought me two feet! Kansas, we brought the one you wanted. Alright. I miss the music. <laughs> Excellent. It seems that you obtained the light stone. Oh, you mean my pet rock, Jeremy? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, this was the light stone? My bad. I'm so sorry about that. I congratulate you on a job well done. It's my lord and's thought that the two holders of the legendary Pokemon should put their beliefs on the line and strive to find which is the true hero. This is not necessary, however. From his in- From his infancy? Is that what the fuck that says? Anyway. From his infancy, I provided him with the education required to become the hero of legend. Indeed, he has been so acknowledged by- he had, fuck. Indeed, he has been so acknowledged by the legendary Pokemon. Such purity of purpose is he. Man, this guy's an asshole. <laughs> the, the liberation of Pokemon of which I, of which Team Plaza speaks, in which the separation of Pokemon... The break, yeah, Pokemon are foolish people. That's the truth. All trainers will become helpless, resist us. We alone will be able to use Pokemon. And the preparations are complete. When my perfect plan is set into motion, first a few gullible trainers who will be unable to resist the Impaza will release their Pokemon. Then that number will become a hundred. Then a thousand. In no time, even the gym leaders and the champion will be unable to fight us. Having a Pokemon is considered a bad thing. Even people like that sad little Bianca, whose Pokemon was stolen in Castilia, will be unable to face public opinion and, and will release their Pokemon. Not Bianca! <laughs> That's the world we'll make. Don't come near me! This is my no-no square. <laughs> you may have the stone, but there's no chance whatsoever that the legendary Pokemon will accept you as a hero. Um, I'm Pretty sure my pet rock Jeremy is going to love me, alright? We've been on plenty of walks. <laughs> so, if you're not willing to hand over your precious Pokemon, I suggest you search for some courage. Because you're going to need it. Man, fuck you. <laughs> I hate that guy. Even if he has green hair. <laughs> What's this guy running around for? Phew! Well, I tried a little too hard. I bought way too much stuff at Shop Mall 9. We gotta go over there. What do you got to say? Right now, it has a lot of trainers 
for such a short route. If there's a place where people can ride, some more people tend to gather. Alright. Maybe we should put the dowsing machine on. Oh, shit! The pitcher throws his first pitch! That was just random. What the fuck? <laughs> Don't throw shit at me! What I just threw was TM56 fling. You throw an item to do damage to the target, and then the damage changes based on what you throw. So you just threw shit at me to. Alright. Yeah, fuck that guy. Oh, yeah, what's cool about the bikers is that if you even, like, hold down B on the DS, they start going crazy. Because if, if you go, <laughs> if you run, they start going. So even just holding B, standing still there, just go ape shit. Alright, let's see what you want, sir. Ooh, they got some good ass music. If I win, give me your Pokemon. I'm being robbed. <laughs> Never mind. These people aren't as nice as I thought they would be. Oh, I thought this said redneck. <laughs> Roughneck Reese. Hey, who did I put in the front again? <laughs> I'm so now. Not again. Uh, who would be good? Kai would be good. Poor Cosmo. Every time I want to use him, I put him up against shit that he can't be hit against. Alright, let's see. Razor Shell. We gotta get a better water type move. But Razor Shell is pretty good. Cosmo could deal with this. Hey, put this in Cosmo out. Cosmo was built to take out trash. Because he understands <laughs> the, the, the struggle of being garbage. Uh oh. Hush Champ, we gotta get psychic on you. Weak armor. Defense fell. Speed increase. Uh oh. No, we're fine. Don't worry about it. Cosmo's gonna be great. See, he's fine. Oh, okay, level 42. Poor Cosmo. <laughs> It was just a joke, you don't have to take it so seriously. Whatever, it's fine, I guess. Hold on. My there was also, I guess, a joke to you that you poisoned my Cosmo. Now I had to throw Moo Moo Milk at it. Here it's poison. Do we have an antidote? Ah, uh, here's one. Actually, there's, there's three, actually. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's keep beating up these motorcycle people. This should be a double battle. They have really good music. Hey, hey, what we got here, boys? You have good Pokemon, let me see. Hey, hey, a bad one teaming up with another bad one. What do you- what, do you know what that means? It means we're really bad. I think I did a pretty good job with the voice on that one. I- Hooligans, Jim, and Cass. Okay. Scraggy and a scra- Oh. Who's in the other one again? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> we have two people that are weak against these fucking idiots. Uh, let's just do air slash. And then we'll use... Trying to think of a good move. We'll use Razor Claw. Shadow Claw, that's it. Perfect! Look at that! Cosmo's finally getting up there! Cosmo won't be useless. <laughs> yeah, not that much damage. Come on, man! It didn't even do anything! 
Oh, that thing has moxie. Um, we don't have fairy in this game. Oh shit! Sean just hit the level. <laughs> it's fine. We'll live. I guess you just crunch on it. Is the swing pick his bug? No, oh, it's neutral. Oh Jesus Christ! I jump kick. Well, <laughs> I'm getting wiped by a fucking scraggy. Jesus, I suck at this game. All right, little little. <laughs> so pretty. All right, I need to thunderbolt and the new. Gets Giga Drain just in case Sanji misses. <laughs> Perfect. Good Pokemon to be honest, we're a little dazzled. What? How could bad men like us lose? Because you're horrible people. <laughs> That's why. Oh no, my Pokemon are <laughs> Do we have revives? I had one. What did I here? Well, we do have the um the herb, the, the revival herb. So let's go ahead. Now, now their Cosmo's gonna hate me, and Jasper's gonna hate me too. But it's okay. I think you know. No, it's fine. <laughs> no, I rather be alive than dead. Why do you get different music? I'm trying to think. Oh, this is the psychic music. Do you want to pass through here? Then you must greet me. Alright. Hey, do you know uh, the Heartbreaker Charles? He's, he's pretty cool. I don't know if you've ever heard of him before. He's also a biker. <laughs> uh, Philip. You also. I need to take Cosmo out. <laughs> he can't battle these guys. Because <laughs> they all have Crocker Ox. <laughs> To get out of here before something bad happens. Just put Kai in there. Can't believe I have ate all my Haichus. I had a bunch and now I don't have any more. Oh, thank god. Alright, Razor Shell! I still don't know what to use against you. Because you're not weak against Psychic. I guess flying, but... Our flying type is also a Psychic type. So it doesn't really work for us. You're gonna sit there and tell me that this stupid face right here is scary to you, Kai? That's the main try now. You! What great strength do you have? I do have great strength. <laughs> Just with certain Pokemon. Oh! Heh <laughs> No one can beat my speed and fury. I was not expecting to get into a battle right away. Biker Zeke. Oh, we haven't seen this guy yet. Uh, it's Steel Dark, so four times a week against fighting. Uh, should we even try not? I say we shouldn't. Oh, uh, maybe. Well, put Jasper in. He's weak against the uh, rock. Is Steel weak against rock? I keep forgetting if if it's rock or ground that's super effective against steel. But we'll figure it out. Let's see. Uh, I guess we'll use Rock Tomb and find out that way. Alright, it's, it's, it's Dig. Dig we go. At least we're not faster. So we get to avoid this attack, but not the next one when we come up. Yeah, this thing hits pretty hard. Alright, it's dead. 
All right, Moxie was activated. Moxie, good. I have lost. I am such a loser. <laughs> That's me and my Nuzlocks. Oh god. All right. What does the sign say? I need. I need to actually get in front of the sign to read. Shot Mall Nine, colorful and wonderful. All right, let's go blow our mother's fortune on this mall. I don't remember this having such good music. There are even some people in the mall who have challenged you in battles. Okay. Welcome to Shot Mall 9. It's called 9 because it's on Route 9. You can always remember it by thinking this. Done shopping? 9! Alright! On the first floor they sell medicines. Second floor they sell TMs of different kinds of mail. On the third floor they sell items for raising stats and battle items. I really admire, I really admire Mr. Clade. Pokemon Gym Guide. Huh? I'm just, I'm just, so I'm practicing being a guide too. Oh, that's the dude that's always like, oh, by the way, uh, this this gym's weak against this. Okay. I didn't know that's his name. Good trainers never use only brute force. They think the many different strategies, such as which Pokemon and moves to use in battle, are the best time to use an item. Uh, medicines. Okay. Let's see what TMs they got. That could be useful for us. Hi. I come to the shop mall a lot because I want all the TMs. What TMs you got? Oh, okay, that does break my bank a bit. Hyper Beam and Giga Impact. Well, that's there. I'm a rich boy, so I have great Pokemon. <laughs> All right, I, gu I guess. Rich boy manual. Leaper. Man. No, I wish I had a fighting type. <laughs> I do want to use Scraggy in my next one. Which, if I do use Scraggy, I can't use the Tempek. Maybe I should. Shit's fine. Don't worry about it. Just, just beat the shit out of it, Cosmo. Why didn't you use a Dark type? I'm surprised I didn't try to use Pursuit, because it would have been like, oh yeah, it's trying to switch. But how did you avoid that? Cosmo! You're fast as fuck, that's your whole thing. Thank you. This guy, am I right? Maybe I can try using Snivy. I never used the, the grass starter, so maybe, maybe that would be interesting to do. Oh, shit, okay. Welcome. Would you like a cold drink with your Pokemon battle? Uh, do you have a fresh Moo Moo milk? My Pokemon absolutely love that. Please don't have a dark type. <laughs> Waitress Flu. Oh, it's a Minchin. That's very on brand. That's really cute. Ooh. Yeah, it's really in my room. Alright, let's use Heart Stamp. That oh critical hit. Oh, you are so dead. I am so sorry. Little little look away. I don't I don't mean this personally. At least we get to see her from the front. She actually landed it. Oh shit. She is just so pretty. Look at her. No, she's dead. <laughs> oh, I don't like hearing her dead noise. Cosmo's off a 40 now! He's finally moving up. It was a wonderful battle, bravo! I took your wages. Alright. Oh, wait, there's a thing over here. There's an item. PP up. Don't forget to use that in a little while. It's not in a cardboard. They're all full of electronics that we can't sell anymore. They're just going to waste. I wonder if someone can put them to good use. If you have a Rotom, you can bring it here, and that's how you can change the form on it. Which I think is pretty dope. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit, okay. 
I thought you were just trying to figure out which fucking drink to have. Hey, when I'm resting from too much shopping, I'm willing to battle. Alright, these fucking privileged children in this mall. The malls don't even exist anymore. The the one I usually go to a lot, like, I remember for when I was a kid, uh, got turned down and turned into, like, some kind of game base. I forgot what the name of the company is, but the only- <laughs> like, when they were building it, every store was taken out of there, except for the Dave and Busters. That part stayed over there for a long-ass time. And then they finally, like, built their own section, like, a little next- like, a little ways away from it. But, like, that was the only part of the mall you can go into. Was the Dave and Busters to play games and eat food. Oh, shit. I was talking too much. <laughs> God. Uh, we don't have a fighting type! Ugh. Oh, fuck it, put Phantom in at least. Oh, wait, it has. <laughs> it's a fucking crunch. I'm so sorry, Phantom. Why do you have such an idiot trainer like me? Uh, speaking of an idiot trainer, um, I, I found a good level to evolve, and I'll probably just. It, like, all the places that I looked, they're like, oh, here's some of the, the cool moves that are through level up, but most of those can be replaced with other moves, or I already have the TM for said move. So what I'm thinking is that after the Dragon Gym, I will evolve Phantom. I think that'd be good. We'll give it a lot of good moves. Oh god! <laughs> I have a waiter who's good at Pokemon battles. That's- I just want to talk to people. Is that too much to ask? There's a lot of fucking battles here! <laughs> waiter Burt. <laughs> Oh, yes, I'm in Chino as well. Okay, very on brand. Do you have- wait, does he have two Pokemon? Let me look. What do you know the other one's gonna be? Because the other lady had a Minchino Rogan, and that made sense. So this guy have a- this- like a Minchino and a Cottony? Not a Cottony, a Whimsicott. That would be so cute. Please have a Whimsicott. I do want to cosplay Whimsicott at some point. Oh, he's a Lampet! <laughs> Very cute. We get to see little Phantom up close. Alright. Pa Shadow Claw. <laughs> Critical hit! Good on you, Jasper. I can't wait to bring Jasper for the Ghost Gym. Or the- not the Ghost Gym. The Ghost Elite 4 member. And also the, um, the Psychic one. Foul Play? What does that do? 95 power, 100 accuracy, physical. The user turns his target power against it. The higher the target's attack, the greater the damage. Okay. That could be useful, but I do like crunch. But if, if we want to, we can we can try again. Equal moves and give up. Wonderful battle. A learning experience. Thanks for that. I think that's what he said. <gasps> finally! <laughs> he finally evolves! Oh, I'm such a proud mother. <laughs> oh, I left my child on the in the bed again. <laughs> Maybe not much that much of a proud mother. I was wondering when Jasper will finally evolve. A crocodile! That's our boy right there! Let me see, let me see him! Oh, that that's- no, that's a dead Cosmo. <gasps> Wait, look- just look at the little sprite! Oh my god, it's so cool! Look at her, she's a badass now! Look at those tits! She has high speed and low attack. <laughs> yep. So got Moxie. Look at all this shit, dude. And her HP went up as well. This is a good day. But thank you, Bert. <laughs> Are you gonna challenge me? Hey, Pokemon Trainer. Do you want an item called... Do you know about an item called the Thunderstone? Yeah, it's for evolving some Pokemon, yeah. So you know Thunderstone can evolve certain Pokemon. Nice. Me, you here must be fate. This is for you. 
I got a free thunderstone. Thank you. Here's where you can buy the medicines. That way you can like get battle items and everything like that. But we're gonna buy some medicine because we need to up some of our people's shit over here. Um, maybe just one attack. Just yeah, just one, and then a defense and a special attack for let's do two special attacks and we'll give that to little little i want her to be like super good at what she does and that is being annoying and like in a good way you know it's not like a bad thing okay that one's special attack so for you and for you We'll use the other ones at the other point. I just want Little Little to get some special attention, because I love her a lot. Have you heard? There's a cave along Round 9. I don't know exactly where it is or what's in it, though. Oh yeah, that's Challenge Cave. Uh, we cannot access that yet. That's a post-game thing. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to it eventually, don't worry. Alright, one last guy on here. God, there's such good fucking music! I can listen to shit all day. <laughs> join our team. Actually, I will force you to join our team. Actually, you know what? I wouldn't mind a cool jacket like that, I won't lie. Like, look at that! That has Jasper's face on it! <laughs> Chance. Like, like, why would you name your kid Chance? <laughs> That's a stupid ass name. Oh yeah, we got the Jasper! Oh my god, she sounds so cool. And she looks so big! <laughs> uh, t t t uh, let's do dig. Now probably one-shot it. Payback. Get out of here. I'm surprised I didn't use high jump kick. Because I would have killed him probably. <laughs> let's go. Maxi for Jasper. Our team doesn't need a trainer quite that strong. Who? I'm. Uh, I guess I was like, why wouldn't you want someone that's overqualified? And I'm like, that's what jobs do all the time. <laughs> They're like, no, nah, you're overqualified, so no. Nah. We'll worry about what's down there, like later. What do you have to say? Munch munch. I heard that a guy with a legendary Pokemon was visiting. What? All right. Wait, I heard that a guy with a legendary Pokemon was visiting Appaloosid City. Munch munch. Okay. And you know this how? Oh shit, this is the future city. Oh, hi! Hi, Alder. Hello, Phoenix. This way. We're just sitting in the back. Against us. What a liar. That's we're trying to con everyone into his speech. Alright. <laughs> That's correct! Our Lord N has combined his power with the legendary dragon type Pokemon and intends to create a new world. We herald the. I don't think I'm saying that right. I'm, no, I'm sorry, let me look at my speech again. We herald the return of the, the hero of Unova, founder of the region. Here was your lantern. <laughs> A lot of people talk in the crowd. Pokemon are different from people. They are living beings who contain unknown potential. He's got that right. They are living beings from whom we humans have much to learn. I guess he's right about that. They are beings whose greatness we can should acknowledge. Being oh he did a little thing. Being who should be freed from their oppression. We need Team Plasma invite you to join us. We all want to create a world where people and Pokemon are both free. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask you now, please, release your Pokemon. And so, I end my plea with you today. Thank you all- Thank you one and all for your attention. <laughs> Is it true? Have we been making Pokemon suffer? Hmm. Maybe we should reset Pokemon like Team Plasma says. No way! That Pokemon will be lonely and sad! 
Me too. Just <laughs> like, what was that about? That speech was off the charts, strange. The operation of people and Pokemon is how Unova came to exist to begin with. If a Pokemon really didn't want anything to do with humans, it would simply leave. Capturing a Pokemon in a Pokeball doesn't mean you captured his heart. Oh, he's spitting facts. Let's go, Phoenix. It's been a while, Iris and Drayden. Oh, Mr. Alder! And the girl who helped out that time! <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> What's wrong? What does the wandering champion who left the Pokemon League need from us? Briefly, my request is this. Tell us about the legendary dragon type Pokemon. Are you talking about Zekrom or Rushiram? What's the sudden interest? Moments ago, the Chubmaker known as Gensis was here. He says a trainer named N has reawakened Zekrom. Yes. That trainer called N apparently told Phoenix here to search for the other dragon type Pokemon. Let me check if I have this straight. This N, or whatever you have, presumes to set the two dragon type Pokemon against one another in battle to test his convictions. Oh no! The dragon type Pokemon will get us so. Oh, the, the dragon type Pokemon can get along so well! That's right, Tyrus. The ones who make Pokemon battle, battle are the trainers. So it's so the trainers and the Pokemon can get to know each other better. I'm going to the Pokemon League. No, I guess in this case I should say I am returning to the Pokemon League. Of course, I'll defeat N. I'll teach him how the, the beauty of the world, where Pokemon and trainers live together in harmony. Also, Phoenix, I await for your arrival. Once you obtain the Appaloosa badge, come to the League. Absolute and gym leader is tough. Be careful. Farewell. I'm counting on you, Drayden and Iris. Bye, Alder! <laughs> I've got cool fire hair. Oh, he's gone. Is he okay? He looks kind of scary. Don't worry, Iris. He's a strong trainer of all the Unova. Oh, Phoenix, is it? Come to my house. As Alder asks, I will tell you everything I can about the legendary dragon type Pokemon. Iris, child, please lead the way. You bet! If it's Appalachian City, I could take you anywhere. After the story of Zekrom and Rushram, we'll tell you all about what we know. This way. Iris is such a cool person. This way! Oh yeah, that fucking dude's jamming out! Our hopes will be put into this melody. I'll send them into the future. He's just rocking out. Just a little further! Do we know what Iris' mom looks like? This is it? Is Drayden her father? What's her mother look like? I wanna know. <laughs> is it canon? I don't know. I'll explain. What you're holding is the light stuff. Oh, you mean my pet rock, Jeremy? Yeah, he's cool. Don't, don't, he's a little quiet, though. <laughs> Rushram, who was likely awakened from the light stone, and I don't know how- I, I don't know why I blanked on the name! And Zekrom, who was already awakened, was once the same Pokémon. That single dragon Pokémon, along with the twin heroes, brought the new region into being, and people of Pokémon have happy lives! One day, however, the twin heroes, the older brother who sought the truth, and the younger brother who sought ideals, began to argue about how to decide which of them was right. The single dragon-type Pokémon, who had been with them that whole time, split his body into two. One side with the older brother, and the other side with the younger brother. In its pursuit for ideals, the black uh, dragon-type Pokemon sought to usher in the new and better world. Its name was Zekrom. And the other, the white dragon-type Pokemon, sought truth, and to usher into the new world, a world of good. Its name was Zekrom. Sorry, Rush Ram, I'm so sorry! <laughs> because the two of them were once the same entity, their battle raged endlessly and neither one of them could be declared the winner. They simply exhausted themselves. The twin heroes proclaim that there are no... Wait. <laughs> the twin heroes proclaim that there was no one side that was right, and ceased the conflict. But, but, the twin heroes... The twin heroes' sons started to battle again, and an instant later, Zekrom and Rushram were destroyed. Unova... Destroyed Unova with lightning and fire. Then, they disappeared. But, but if people work with Pokemon in the right way, we don't have to worry anymore about the world being destroyed. 
I mean, Zekrom and Rushram worked hard for everyone and made a new region. So, it should be alright, I think. True. Pokemon don't speak. People may hurt Pokemon even more by imposing their selfish thoughts on them. But no matter what, people and Pokemon believe in each other, need each other, and will continue to live together. Yeah. So, I'm never gonna forgive Team Plasma for trying to separate Pokemon and us. Sorry, I know we got a bit off topic at the end. That's everything we know. Unfortunately, we don't know how to wake up the legendary Pokemon. Shit! Fuck, I'm stuck with this rock! <laughs> we made a promise to Alder. You must win the gym badge from the Appalachia Gym Pokemon Gym. Phoenix, I'll be waiting for you to challenge the uh, Pokemon Gym. <laughs> Reading's hard! Well, we made it. Let's go heal. I don't know if there's a lot of things to do in this city. Um, I believe there is a house that has uh, rotation and double battle, but we might just do that after the gym. Because everyone's pretty much at the level cap. Whew! What a talking today! A lot of reading, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah, there's not- yeah, there's just the- Depending on what version you're playing, you either get a double battle house or a rotation battle house. So, I want- Oh, there's an armor here. Max Repel, thank you! So, I guess what we'll do in the next episode, if, uh, if myself allows it, you know? We'll probably just challenge the gym! I mean, why not? This is where it is. Um, let's look at something real quick. Um... So, these guys are not going to be useful. Maybe Lilo. Yeah. <laughs> but Cosmo and Jasper will probably be our, our main guys for this. Maybe Little Little if we can be annoying enough. But, no, fuck it. We're going to put Little Little in the front. <laughs> I'm just look because they they always know a rock type move and I don't know what they have that might hurt Jasper, so it's probably gonna be these guys. So in the next one, I guess what we'll do is we'll go in there and battle Drayden. And uh get our eighth gym badge. <laughs> but uh thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you. This journey is still going. And I think we're we're almost in the home stretch. Well, after we be at the gym. Uh, we'll be in the home stretch. Yeah, because we just gotta go through the route top, uh, go through the victory road, battle the Elite Four, and then do the final battle. So, yeah, this, this adventure's coming to a look. The main adventure's coming to a close. Don't worry, we're doing post game. Don't worry, but we will take a break. But, uh, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, my name is Phoenix, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye!